um, we're teaching the people two things. Uh, how do you estimate the carbon footprint of ICT operations in an organisation? I should point out that sustainability of ICT covers more than just energy efficiency. And we've had long, vigorous debates about what should be covered. And we're saying, let's do energy first and worry about materials use separately. And in this course, that's what I'm doing. It's mostly about energy use. We mention handling of uh, recycling of materials, toxic materials, that sort of thing. But so, if you're in an ICT organisation, how do you work out the carbon footprint of ICT? And we'll get to, how do you work out how to reduce it? The idea is then this is the sort of information you then say, okay, boss, this is what we should do. And an emphasis on the, the business process. So, not just how we're going to reduce energy in our data centre, but how do we change the business processes, save money, and also at the same time reduce energy? The learning course before. I've only given lectures to students and some blended ones. So what I, what I did was I took the ITIL course on uh, uh, how that sort of thing, and I literally took a copy of the ACS's ITIL e-learn course, pasted a fresh copy, changed the between ICT, and then took what topics made sense and took the structure of the global system IT bodies used to pick out the topics that I thought were relevant. But these were those strategy and planning, technical strategy and planning, business IT strategy, procurement management, support, supply management, procurement quality. So you'll notice there's no mention in here of green ICT at all. And then those topics are covered within these areas. So we're focusing on the business aspects of IT. And these topics actually come from what's called SOFIA, the British Computer Society developed framework for uh, the sorts of things the IT industry profession needs to know about, structured around those topics. And the other thing is, there are no exams, because in business nobody sits you now and gives you an exam. Um, we make people write reports, the reports say, write a report for your organisation or an organisation you know about, and want to put, assess the footprint and then identify ways. So they have to write a report. This is the sort of report you would enter your management on what to do. <coughs> and the other part is contribution to discussion forums. So there are web-based, non-real-time forums. So each week I give the students a selection of topics, go and meet the version of the report, how would you apply that in your organisation? And they have to put their answers in the online form. And then I give them a mark. 20% of the course or their contribution to the online system. Now, some of the topics. Climate science, a little bit, they need to understand. I'm quite, I was quite surprised when I did a lot of the people, didn't, I had to go back and explain. Who are these generated by power stations? In Australia, power <coughs> stations are fueled by burning coal with carbon dioxide, and it's the carbon dioxide that causes the greenhouse effect. So I just had assumed everybody would understand if you just run electricity in that generator. So I had to explain how computers um, cause pollution.